In this video, you'll see how to automatically terminate resources for products deployed with AWS Service Catalog. With this custom solution provided by Amazon, you can deploy ephemeral resources, specify expiration times for them, and then remove the resources automatically when they are no longer needed. The solution you're about to see demonstrates auto-termination for an Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, bucket product deployed through AWS Service Catalog. Once you are familiar with how this example solution works, you can edit the sample AWS CloudFormation template for use with products in your organization. This blog post contains details on how this solution is implemented, along with a link to the CloudFormation template. To get started, let's scroll down to the template. Download the template file and extract it to a folder on your computer. Next, let's navigate to the S3 Management Console and create a new S3 bucket to host this content. It is recommended that you name the bucket with the prefix shown here, followed by a dash and then your AWS account number. Now let's upload the solution code to this bucket. After the upload is finished, locate the CloudFormation setup file and copy the object URL, which you'll need when creating the stack. Now we can create the stack for this example solution. Paste the URL for the setup file. Next, enter a name for this stack. When deploying this solution, you can specify the frequency with which to check for expired products. In this case, let's set it to check every 10 minutes. Next, provide the name of the bucket we created earlier so that the setup file can locate the rest of the files needed to deploy this solution. You can also specify an initial user account to grant portfolio access to. In this case, let's grant access to admin. Proceed through the rest of the configuration without making changes. Acknowledge the terms, and then create the stack. The solution is now deploying. After a minute, you can refresh the page and verify the deployment was successful. Now let's navigate to AWS Service Catalog. Here is the Bucket Auto Terminate product we deployed. You can make this product available to other users in your organization by adding it to a portfolio and defining the users, groups, and roles that have access. Let's see how it works. Anyone with access to this product can use it to deploy a new S3 bucket along with the back-end processes on AWS that will check to determine if the bucket should be terminated. Let's give this product a name. Next, let's specify the parameters for this product. You can change the default duration of the provision product, the action to take after that time period has been reached, and an email address to receive notifications about the product status. In this case, let's specify an email address, but leave the other settings as is. Accept the default bucket name for this example and proceed with the configuration. You can configure the product template to include tag values for use in auditing and budgeting. In this case, let's move on. Optionally, you can choose to stream product notifications to an Amazon Simple Notification Service or Amazon SNS topic. Again, let's just move on. Now review the settings and launch the product. Notice that the status is shown as under change, which means the S3 bucket is provisioning. In a minute, you can refresh the page and verify that the bucket was created successfully. Reviewing the key values, you can see that the bucket is set to terminate in 10 minutes. The link to this bucket is also displayed. For the next 10 minutes, you can interact with this bucket. For example, you can upload files. Now let's fast forward 10 minutes. Refresh this list and see what happens. The bucket is no longer present. Switching to email, you can see examples of the notifications the person who provisioned this product may receive. This message is sent when the bucket has been provisioned. And this message is sent when the bucket has been terminated.
Now that you're familiar with how this example solution can be used to expire resources provisioned by AWS Service Catalog, you can download the solution code and edit it to define your own AWS Service Catalog products that require auto-termination. You've just seen how to automatically terminate resources with AWS Service Catalog. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.